In this video, I'm working on the Sony EVS 3000 series high heat machine. This is actually a brand new one too. This has no hours on it. I mean, I'll show you once I get done recapping it, but right now I'm recapping the TBC board because they have SMD capacitors in these and they leak out. And that's because the, um, the seal deteriorates over time. And what happens is when you put power to it, as the capacitor reforms, it goes ahead and gases out and then the electrolytic leaks out and can damage traces and the through holes. Thankfully, cause this is a new machine, there is no through hole damage. And normally you can tell because as you can see these copper circles right there, those are the through hole points where it connects to the various layers on the board. Now when those turn black, then you gotta worry about it because that means electrolytic got in there and could have eaten it. If it destroys the connection, then board might not be repairable. Thankfully, in this case, they didn't get a chance to leak out. You can see those leads are shining now. They were starting to leak, though. And you can see right there, that crust down there, that's actually the electrolytic starting to seep out. Normally, to get these out, to not put stress on the pad itself, I go and take side cutters. And then I'll just go back and forth with it while pushing it down on the board. And then therefore, you're not putting stress on that pad and therefore ripping the trace and so forth. That's how you get these off pretty much. First, you want to go and, of course, clean any of the electrolyte that's sitting right on top of there. Then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put some solder on there, fresh one. And then I'll go and take a wick, wick it up, and then I'll put fresh solder and clean it up again before putting the capacitor back on there. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's going to take a little bit while because I got to do the rest of these caps, but I'm using dual capacity because they're a little bit more reliable and so forth. So I'm going to go and put those back on there. Yeah, I could go went ahead and put SMDs back on there again, but I'd rather just go through holes on these because then that way they're less likely to fail again. So I went ahead and finished changing all the surface mount capacitors on this TBC board. So hopefully it will work. I didn't see no damage through holes that turned black or anything like that. So these caps, probably when it was powered on, just started to leak. So thankfully, hopefully there's no damage to this TBC board and it does work. No, it's not the prettiest job, but I do want it more reliable. So I went with through hole instead of using surface mount capacitors in there. Should work and should do the job pretty much. So here's the head preamp board. So you can see there's SMD caps there that I do gotta change out. And it sits behind the transport. You do gotta remove the screw on the bottom there. Of course the head cable. And then these cables right there. And then it just, one snap comes out and then you can remove the whole entire preamp. So went ahead and finished recapping the preamp board. Yeah, I do got a bodge right there because I ran out of a 22 microvarad capacitor I needed. So for a temporary, I went ahead and just put two 10s together to make a 20. Hopefully it'll be enough to make it work at least. And then, you know, when I go do another parts order, I'll just go ahead and replace it. But there you go. This was the worst one because this one had a lot more leakage on it. I was able to clean it up. So let's go and put in the machine and hope this actually works. So went ahead and did reinstall the head preamplifier board, as you can see there, and even managed to get the cables routed where they're supposed to go. One thing you wanna check too is these guys, cause they do have a tendency of working their way loose. And it's due to that set screw that's right there. And there's one right there too, that's right there, that goldish brashes color screw right there. It has a tendency of working loose and then it allows these guides to work their way loose. And of course could throw your alignment off. So. If that's loose, then you won't get a good picture or much of a picture pretty much due to those working loose and you will have to do alignment. Now I will show you on one that's out of alignment on how to actually get these back in alignment with and without a scope, but I'll leave that for a whole nother video. Thankfully on these, they are nice and tight. So hopefully this is still within alignment. Let's just go ahead and see if we actually get a picture now. Thankfully we haven't gotten any smoke or anything, which is good. Okay, let me go ahead and open that up. And let's just go ahead and stick a tape in there. It did always accept the tape and stuff. That wasn't a problem. Is that the picture was all black before and pretty much had static and so forth. So 
Okay, and then let's just go ahead and hit play. And let's see if we get a picture. Do we get a picture? Yes, we do get a picture. And you can see right there, we do got a picture. Now the tape is partially damaged, that's why I'm using this. Yep, it's a pretty clear picture too. Good, and then let's go rewind. Let's just go ahead and let's just see how it looks. And then we go to the right and see where they're showing like some items. I guess they were listing for eBay or something, who knows. Forgot where I got this tape from. I think I got it from a camcorder. There you go. Yeah, that's where they go ahead and I'll go back to play. Yes, and this deck works great now. Wasn't getting any picture before. Now getting a nice crystal clear picture. So let's go and stop it. And then we'll just go fast forward and make sure that still all works. Which it should because it's just the TBC and the preamp fireboard. It's not going to have nothing to do with the logic. And yes, it's working good. Good, I'll be able to actually use this machine. Next thing I'll probably end up doing is recapping the power supply, but that'll be down the road. I just want to get this machine working for us because I hate spending money on parts and then I find out that you know TBC board was bad or something like that. Now I wasted money on a deck that I can't fix, so I always try to at least fix the problem with the deck first, and then if I decide, I'll go ahead and recap the power supply and everything else. But it is broke, you know. Let's go and see if it jets properly without even tape, which it should, because it really becomes pretty new. And there you go. So now we got a fully functional Sony EBS 3000 and TSC, it says right there. And this one is like new, like I said before, it has literally pretty much no hours on it. So I'm gonna go and get the cover on it and I'll show you how it looks once it's done. For those of you that want to see what's in the inside pretty much, here you go. This is the transport logic section. There's your tuner RF section. Went ahead and put the shield back on the TBC board, which is for your noise reduction, your TBC. Here you go. And here's the power supply. It's on the side in the cage still. So, let me go and get this all the way back together. So here's the Sony EBS 3000 Hi8 VCR fully reassembled. And as you can see, this thing is in mint condition. There's no ding scratches or anything like that or wear marks. And thankfully I was able to actually get it cheap and on eBay of all places. I'm kind of shocked actually, because typically I see asshole sellers selling these things for three to five hundred dollars as is with dents all worn out. Of course, doesn't work or had any work done to it yet. They're trying to get a sky high price on it. And this one I won on a bid for only a hundred bucks late at night, about 3 a.m. And I got lucky on this one. You see, it's pretty clean. Now, the reason why Sony went to fake wood panels on this is because so that way it matches their sony es line of audio equipment they had going on at the time and some of the components actually had wood panels so this would also match those components pretty much now these are removable you can actually remove them if you want to if you need space especially which i'm probably going to do because i mean, i got limited amount of space where this is actually going to go in but it's going to replace the 7000 right now right now currently i'm using a c100 which is half the size but doesn't have TBC or DNR really doesn't matter because I do have a separate time base corrector but I do want to get one with one built in with DNR and TBC which this does have and also does PCM audio too as well so let's just go ahead and demonstrate it there you go okay and then let's go ahead and push the door open and then we'll just hit play. Okay. 
Okay, and it should come up a picture. And look what he got there. <laughs> another high E camcorder. I think that's another Sony high E camcorder. So obviously this is someone that's probably listing or doing something with it. More likely what I think he's doing is actually testing the camcorders before he lists them. The reason why he got the white background so when he lists them. Kind of funny because I do remember buying one of his lots actually where he had a whole mess of high E and digital 8 camcorders and stuff. And I think this is the same guy. Probably where I got the tape from too. Because I think the tape was stuck in one of those camcorders which I did fix. Matter of fact, that's two, three videos ago. So yeah, there you go. That's where this tape came from. Came from that um, lot. And you can see there, he's just kind of doing something probably when he tests the camcorders. Which is good. Finally, a seller that actually tests the stuff before just listing it. Kind of rare to see on eBay, actually. And there you go. It's fully working. And of course, there you go. Let's just hit play again. And then let's just hit pause and see how it does on pause. And yeah, that's absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna go and test record, make sure record works and everything else works on it. And I'll probably just put it on my rack and actually use it. I am not gonna sell this because I've been looking for one of these in great condition. So this one's not going for sale. I'm actually gonna keep this. So there you go. And I'll go and show you eject it. And there you go. So this pretty much concludes the video of the Sony EVS 3000 High 8 VCR.